Hey guys, we want to thank you so much for the reception on the, the last drop of merch, the last merch drop. Uh, it was, Completely unprecedented. It was the best yet. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. And we just want to let you know that this will be the last chance to go grab some if you want some. But this is like the last chance to go grab it. It's like unbelievable how many people are going to have these hoodies. Can't wait to maybe see you wear some. Of them. I just love to admire. That's That's super cozy. Go check it out. Thank you guys. We're filming a video right and now. And we're filming a video as well right now. <laughs> oh, no gum. I've learned my lesson. Put that gum on my banana. It's real pretty. It's kind of like paper mache. Pa oh. paper, paper mache. There's nothing cooler than paper mache. Do they still do that? Who's they? I'm sure somebody. Kids. The kids. The kids are doing paper mache right now. What would an adult have used for paper mache with? I would. What would you paper mache right now? Like, like if if. <clears throat> if there was something like paper mache is perfect for people that you can love paper mache your hydro that love dupes that love dupes like okay i really like this this bust of larry david but i'm not going to pay this small business since i don't support small businesses i would rather make a dupe that is like not everyone's looking for a dupe of a bust though that's like okay. very neat that well that's like what my use would be but if i needed like if i wanted a small object on like my new shelves i'm getting right. very excited about um, I would make them from paper mache if I right. was trying to but save it's a very book. art project specific. Like you're not. No, I think you can use paper mache for like, for like legit. For what? What is the legit thing? Art projects are of course legit. You know I love art. Yeah. But like, what could you use paper mache for? Like day to like, day in the house. Like as like something helpful, like a handy tool. Well, because at its core, it's like paper. Right. But then you just throw in the mache. Like, is but... it just for an art project? I don't know. I don't know. It, 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 what is this saying? It lives to be told? I'm not familiar with that saying. It lives to be told. Oh, uh, it, so, yeah, it, something it, to be it, told. It awaits to like, be told? Yeah. Is it waiting to be told? The, tr the truth will be told. No, and what no, is it? Is it Joan Didion? Did, if I, it lives to be told. It waits to be told. Well, no. Not quite Joan. Eh. Someone we tell our, ourselves stories in order to live. Is that what you were thinking? No, that's not where I was going with Marche? it. I love, <laughs> appreciate you, Joan. If anybody knows what I was trying to say, would love it. I, they I will. And the thing is, they will. I think yeah. They will I, let you know. I think we can we can just stop talking about paper mache and agree that it's mostly for art projects. Okay. I was just curious. It wasn't even a like. I don't know. Why did we talk about paper mache? Huh? I have no idea. Beats me. Great way to start, though. <laughs> I have no idea. Welcome back to Brooke and Connor Make a Podcast, everyone. Happy to have you, as always. Um, this is going to be... We're recording oh, this yeah. right now. It's February. Oh, my God. Happy... F no, it's not February at what? all. Jan one thing about January, she's going to make you feel she every single one of stop. her days. She does not stop. It's January 31st, and it's been January 31st for 31 days. This is this month has been five months long. Happy January thirty first. Whoa, Brooke, there was nothing that could could have prepared me for you Wait, to not say February first. This comes out on le on leap day. Oh, February twenty ninth, cool. mm -hmm. which we only get every four years. It's only one extra day. Mm -hmm. We never will see a February thirtieth. I don't believe so. No, <laughs> not okay. in this life. This comes out. You never know, though. It no, waits to don't. be told. It waits to be told. It waits to be told. It's like daylight savings. Like if they. Screw with that a little bit more. We could be getting a February thirtieth, like or we that. could be getting only February twenty seventh. Wait, like, it, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of making me panic a little bit. Yeah, I Let's love leave it alone. That so this episode's coming out in a month, which is crazy because it's like cool a little bit to think how fast the night changes. Like so many things could be happening to us by the time this comes out yeah that it freaks me out i know it's scary we we'll look back at this and be like ugh, you know like when do you leave for your tour before this comes out yeah so you'll be like who knows you could be literally you could be 
in the market for a Netflix special. Yeah, totally. That's my plan. Yeah. Um, well, I'll be on the road again. You'll be on the road. I can't wait to get back on the road again. I have those shoes. We we have that conversation every time I wear these. No, I've never seen those. I think we had it on the podcast. We wore them on the same day last time. Did we? Yeah. They're great shoes. Got a little, little lift. Those are my poop shoes. Yes. The poop in a bag. Yeah. So that is a new record. Four minute, 35 seconds. Poop. <laughs> That's our poop, first poop bookmark of this episode. How exciting. Yay. Um. Well, it's kind of, co- it's, it's weird. I like your hat. Thanks. <laughs> Jack surfboards. Also, I, your sweatshirt is also that brand. It's that, that, that <laughs> brand. This is the kind of sweatshirt I like where it's like big and it's not going to change shape and it's also not warm. This is a strictly it's for show. fashion over You're function. peacocking. You're peacocking? Yeah. Why did... Is it peacocking because like those feathers don't do shit? They just are big? They're just like to attract a mate. Okay. Do you want to hook up with not, me? Not at this second, but okay. we can circle back. Cool. Yeah. Um, it's weird because I was going to say, I like your sweater as well. Thank you. And so you beat me to the punch. Oh, this is new. Oh, very cool. But it sucks. No one's going to get to see my brand new sweater until February 29th. This is my Leap Day sweater. Totally. Damn, I should have worn my Leap I'll Day I'll wear fit. it before. I'll wear it later to be shown before. We could have had a bunch of Leap Day Leap Day babies on the pod today as guests and be like a little freak show. All the Leap Day babies. Did my we, birthday, my, my birthday, only, I'm only four years old. It would have just been them Did we have that conversation forth. last leap year? That no, wasn't that, a year ago, No, right? we just was, randomly okay. pulled that out of our ours. Okay. But um, it's weird because since this comes out like a month from now, I'm like, should we talk about things that are affecting right. our lives today at all? I, Connor, because I was thinking the same thing. The thing is, I have some pertinent things that I'd like to get on my chest. I'm being affected right now, too. And if we don't, it's just like two ships passing in the Let's night. Let's just do it. Okay. What are you affected by right now? Well, I'm really pissed off about the new Mr. and Mrs. Smith movie, to be to be frank with you. Show? Show? Is it a movie? We're doing show or movie? I've never even seen the original. It's, oh. The Amazon Prime thing with Donald Glover? Yeah. Is it not good? I'm just mad. Leave it alone. Make a new show. Make I a new love, show. love, what? love Maya. Yeah, I love them both, but I just... But no, it's the same thing. I actually need Ma- to put her and Anna of Pen15 okay. on my woman I love list. At least they're put making it a series. That being said, like I love the era of TV and movies. I've, I've, I'm outspoken about when people used to like have actual sexual attention because they were making love right. off screen actually right. they weren't making love brad brangelina were fucking right like uh, like in i can't every support position that. i'm loving that just this, due to the, what alt gen and whatnot i mean truly t- what is that right person wrong time no i think that's just like not being like a, a good person i guess we don't really know what happened and we never mm. will but like i think it's pretty clear that there was an overlap okay well the movie's great and i love the sexual tension between those two they killed it but that was an era of like movie and tv that were like classics were coming out now we're in this era of movie and tv where like they're like we need to pump out another 3d printed movie like chat gpt write a script make this a series and we'll put um like donald glover we'll make donald glover the the guy and we'll um, what's it gonna do? Well, the plot will be exactly the same. Wait, let's do a chat GBT movie. Let's write one. We should. In the bonus. We could become, Brooke, we could make a production thing that pumps out movies like freaking yeah. Mr. Krabs yeah. s- s- squeezing those jellyfish until there's nothing left out of them. <laughs> yeah. Let's do that in the bonus. I have a movie I want to make. It's about to blow this lid wide open. So there's that. I, all of mine are TV related, if that's cool with you. Yeah. There's that. Two, I started watching The Bachelor because I just need to be a part of something. Mm-hmm. Right I'm going to do that too. Yeah, it's good. It's good. I have, I have many thoughts. I keep getting DMs that I look like that to one of the girls, which is really sweet. I appreciate that so much. I forget her name though. I wonder who it is. You're not seeing anyone that looks like me on the TV? I think it's Maria, but that's like not a comp. Like the looks are a compliment, but like she's a psycho. Oh, I think it, look up Maria. That's sounding. That's sounding right. Yeah, I, yeah, I think one hundred percent. You think? Yeah, 
she's not she's not a good girl um she's, <laughs> she's not a nice lady she's definitely trouble like she's try. She, if it would have been a different if it would have been um you'll know when you see it like i'm not it's not a spoiler um if it would have been any other show besides the bachelor she would have taken her earrings out and beat a girl's ass like if it like she should be on yeah. bad girls club she's feisty feisty but like started a fight f- for something that like didn't warrant an actual uh-huh. fight and shot Someone's her got to bring the, the entertainment it's in her you're right because we needed someone to we talk do. about so and for that reason and you know who loves maria who logan so that makes there sense. you go um, cousin, cousin logan something that's making me completely sick to my stomach is that if i applied for the bachelor they would be like hmm this girl is a little bit on the older side yeah well that was that was the fight um I'm going to throw up. Yeah. Like I'm throwing up right now. It is. Um, yeah. That's something. Hey guys, we want to take a break to thank a sponsor of today's episode. Aloe moves. I used to be one of those people who thought they didn't have time to prioritize wellness, but I recently came across Aloe moves and now my whole mindset has changed. The app makes it easy to keep my wellness routine on track because they have everything in one place. There's yoga, Pilates, and fitness classes, mindfulness, self-care tips, healthy recipes, and so much more. From beginner to advanced, Aloe Moves has the flow or class that will fit your schedule. Their classes range from five minutes to an hour depending on what I'm feeling that day. Trying to get in a good sweat? Then you've got to try their award-winning workouts like sweat-inducing yoga flows, hit classes, or reformer Pilates workouts with or without weights. I love watching the videos at home yoga classes because mm-hmm. no one can see that like you can't do them totally. So you can totally move at your own pace. You can also induce sweat from the comfort of your own home, which is nice. That's always nice. Or find stress relief with meditations, affirmations, face yoga, gua sha, dry brushing, and that. journaling for those quiet moments. I love that. I've been trying to get into meditation, and luckily Alan Moves has an entire section dedicated to that, so I can easily start incorporating it into my daily routine. When it comes to sleep, it's just as important as fitness and nutrition. Ever since I watched The Art of Sleep on Alan Moves, I've been falling asleep faster and staying asleep longer. Unlock your personal wellness routine with Alan Moves. Go to alamoves.com now and use code BNC30 for an exclusive 30-day free trial and enjoy 20% off an annual membership. That's alamoves.com. Code is B-A-N-D-C-30. Alamoves.com. Code BNC30. Yeah. Is you, the Bachelor's supposed to be like, oh, this is their last chance. <laughs> and like, if you went, if you were the Bachelor, how old is the current Bachelor? I think he's 26. Like, if you went on The Bachelor right now, you'd be like, Get, let's get this silver fox married off. <laughs> it's geriatric <laughs> let's pregnancy. Let's get this geriatric, his last He's 26, book. yeah. Like, that's freakish. Like, I used to watch the show and be like, How those, old are, is Joey? those are big kids. 28, okay. Okay, so he's a geriatric. He's ger- he's like on his last leg. He's This is Golden Bachelor season two. Okay, so, yeah, well, what's funny is, I watched this and I'm like, so many i mean the bachelor's the easiest show in the world to make fun of right like this is a joke this is a joke how is this okay Uh how is this okay it is amazing that like uh, i don't know it's just amazing that like so many things we've moved away from but like this the hunger games of dating is like yeah i'm sad yeah. So I think it's for that reason it's entertaining, but like, oh my god, I, that's how I understand how media makes people like puppets. Like they're like, he is so sweet. I'm like, how do you not see that he's reading from a teleprompter? That's how people get voted into office that aren't supposed to be there. Oh, uh, I haven't watched, but I'm I'm going to now. Yeah, I mean Joey does genuinely seem very sweet, but like, in so many words, he says the exact same thing they about all do. and how would he not yeah. about twenty women? Yeah. It's tough when you've got 20 women. She was really brave for sharing what she shared tonight. Mm, Vulnerability. It was very bold of her to be so transparent with me tonight. And it was like, it was like the theme is cry. (laughs) It was crazy. Anyways, right after this, after the second episode ended, because I watched both last night, um, they played the Golden Master and I was like, this is TV. Yeah. I'm so mad that I didn't watch that. Wow. I feel like a dumb, dumb ass. That was fantastic. I watched the first episode and I was like, 
Do you know who won? No. Okay, I won't say anything. No, then. I'm not going to watch it. Oh, I, people also say um, the older woman that won looks like me as well. <sighs> yeah. Teresa, is it? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. 100%. I kind of knew they met on the first episode. 100%. She looks like she could swallow a Toyota Corolla yeah. whole. Well, I do have a big mouth, so. Well, like a snake can unhinge its jaw. Like, that's what she seems like she could do. Yeah. But I did see the meet, um, and he said, you, like, first thing he said, you are just so beautiful. Yeah, he was smitten right away. He was head over heels for this young woman. Yeah. What's <sighs> interesting about Jerry is that, like, he is only, he, like, wasn't hot in his youth like he was a nerdy guy like he's only hot as an elder huh look up young jerry so he's benjamin buttoning he's in a way he's completely benjamin buttoned wow yeah not that he wasn't like sweet and all that but like he wasn't a stud as he is now in yeah his sweet's, golden era. sweet's not gonna get you on the on the golden screen yeah or silver screen right whatever color screen the big one is so but that's that. That is that. Anyways, that's where I'm at. That's now, thank you for let, allowing me to get that off my chest. Yeah, no, please. I'm excited to to join you in The yeah. Bachelor. Oh, you should. You need to. Where are you? Where's I'm just like at? upset. At what? I'm done at Akatar. Oh, yeah. So I'm like pretty miserable and having nothing to live for on a day-to-day basis. There will be another one coming out. She's working on it right now. But I need a date. Yeah. Okay. Maybe by the time this comes out on February 29th, we'll have a date. Yeah. But I don't have that date right now. I wonder if she could em- employ ChatGPT to be like, here's my books. I'm going to upload them. Write me a new script. The thing is, like, if she did that, I'd probably like it just as much because I'm so, like, in deep regardless of the, the quality. Right. Just, like, give me a little bit more of, of the character that I need and I'm set. Yeah. Yeah, <sighs> she. I mean, she should. She she's, is. She's got. She's milking. She's got a cash cow that she is. She had milking. a new book that just came out yesterday, which I love because they're back to doing midnight premieres. Like there was a Barnes and Noble midnight release, which I'm addicted to. We need that for the next. That's fun. Court of Thorns and Roses. She like I'm. I'm in love with her. What's her name? Sarah J. Mass. She is SJM. So drop dead gorgeous and smart, and it's like I'm like feeling a little bit scared of the way I'm feeling. Like I'm in love, I think. Oh my god! Yeah, that's special. Yeah, it really is. Wow. So maybe I maybe you need to maybe there needs to be a new author that writes books about Sarah J. Mass, like yeah. smut. Sarah J. Mass smut. Yeah, she, I think she would be honored. She loves smut. I know it's very clear. Yeah. So maybe that would be. I don't know, some looking to free idea if if you write books. Yeah. Because usually, be like, a, like, like landmine. Usually, Jackpot. the people that write smut, I'm like, it's best if I don't see you, if I don't see what you look like. But her, it's like, damn, she I'm honored that she's writing smut. my smut. She could do an autobiography, and it's yeah. just like in re, re recounting her sexual. Yeah, she's gorge. Best. I'm addicted to her. But now I'm reading Fourth Wing, which is you know like mm-hmm. a kind of the natural progression. It seems I could see myself being addicted to it. Which cool. is good. Which is it's yet to be seen. Which is like a light in the dark. Yeah, that could be it. It's, it's yet, yet to, to be, be seen. seen. Try googling. It's yet to be seen. Wait, what did I say the first time? Time will tell. Oh, it's time will tell. Well, no, no, no. <laughs> hang on, hang on. It's, it's yet to be tell. seen. That makes sense. What did I say? I L- well, we won't know until the episode comes out on February 29th. Live, live on and, and conquer <laughs> on. Keep calm and conquer on. I don't know. Told. I think so. It lives to be told. It lives to be told. It lives to be told. What did I, I and think what it, was the right one? Wait, what did I just say? It's yet to be seen. And then you said time oh, will tell. Time, it's time will tell. And, and it's, yet to, be, it's yet to be seen. Collabing with it's yet to be seen. And also collabing with keep calm and, and, and carry, carry on. on. Yeah. I think we were, that's it. We were talking about keep calm and carry on the other, the other day. Is there a world where keep calm and carry on like reboots? Like is Addison Ray going to be wearing a keep calm, keep calm and carry on? I tea? had a t-shirt. Uh, it was gl- something Glee related and keep calm. It was like keep calm and insert Glee quote. Glee on? No. It was like, keep calm. Oh, can we look up keep calm Glee t-shirt? It's so crazy because like the person that wrote copy for this shirt had the easiest job in the world because you they could literally be like keep calm and watch Glee. Right. And it would be like selling like hotcakes. Keep calm and B and C M A P. 
You, that's you could that's always, what it was. I was like, well, that's not a verb. I'm actually not so much, but it's like he's like it doesn't. He or she is like it doesn't matter. Like people are buying these things. Keep calm and join Glee Club. I don't think that Keep was calm it. Keep calm and love Blam. Who? Blam. I you mean, just, bl- is it Blaine? Blaine. Oh, Blam. Blam. Oh, I didn't realize people shipped Blaine and Sam. Awesome. Love that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I, okay. Keep I'm not calm sure and, and ship sure. Carly. Anyways. Okay. Okay. I, 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 I won't remember. Keep, keep calm okay. and carry on. It's okay. With keep calm and carry on. So one more thing by before. the time this comes out, hopefully I'll be done the fourth wing series and addicted to that as well. I, I'm only on page 100 right now and it's it's good. It's very much giving. The Court of Thorns and Roses. It's exciting for you. Yeah. But it's like new characters. Because you know everything. Xander is a shadow wielder. Yes. Of course. Of course. Similar to Asriel being a shadow singer in A Court of Thorns. I know. Roses. A lot of people get those two confused. <laughs> yes, but not me. Not me. Yeah. Um, so that's that. Only 100 pages in. How long is it? 500 something. But here's the thing. I didn't realize A Court of Thorns and Roses was like very much like Times New Roman 2.5 spaced indent vibes like you could fly through that this is like there are a billion words on the page couldn't do it so it will take me i think quite some time couldn't do it i would be on the same page for over one year yeah it's it is it is dense Ooh. yeah no bone chilling i actually had one more tv thing yeah go please if you're, pop if you're off the, okay, i don't mind at all a guitar yeah oh cool i did it that was the first time i've successfully it's gonna be a hulu life. show supposedly oh well That'll be the highest grossing Hulu show known to man. Although if they miscast, like, I don't know what I'll do. Like, it won't be a good reaction on my end. I can say that right now. Who did they miscast that we talked about on here recently that, like, everyone was upset about? That's a good question. You you had talked about it. You were, you were very I was outspoken anti? and upset about it. Oh, yeah. shoot. It wasn't recent either, but I remember. Oh, uh, Mean Girls? No. I don't know, but Ew. to be fair, I did when they first came out with Robert Pattinson as Edward, I was like, this isn't right. And then when I saw the movie, I was like, this is the rightest thing that's ever that's ever been right. Nothing's been more true. So or- I'll always like give it the benefit of the doubt until I see the show, probably. But I'm already getting upset, even though not the show's not even. The like, show that was production. miscast was in New York, if that helps. I remember. It was like a Broadway show? Mm-mm. No, it was like a show. A show that took place in New York? Mm-hmm. Sex in the City? No, you wouldn't be upset about a miscast in Sex in the City. What? Gossip Girl? Was it Gossip Girl? It was like a book that was being written into it. It's like Colleen Hoover or something. Oh. It, the It Ends With Us movie? I don't know. I don't think we even talked about that. I but think that's, we might have. that's not going to be good by any means i'm excited to see what it looks like though it's okay it's whatever it doesn't matter because i don't even know what i'm talking about um no worries two two quick things again did you watch original gossip girl that just reminded me so he's getting married he's getting married chuck bass bass is getting married (laughs) oh so chuck bass the thing about me think about me connor didn't care about chuck didn't care about dan didn't care about nate i was addicted to serena's younger gay brother eric well, we, of course you are. Yes. So that's where I was personally. Oh, well, I'm happy for Ed Westwick. He's getting married. To, to who? To a young woman that he's addicted to. Like, um, I'm confused how he, like, people are so obsessed with Chuck. I'm not sure if I finished the show. I might have stopped. I think, like, Blair and Dan got together or something, and I was like, that's where I'm tapping out. But... Like, people are so addicted to canceling people. How are they, like, pro-Chuck? In the show? Yeah. People, like, stan him. Because like, that he, makes no sense. He was who he was. Yeah, but he w- was, like, a bad person from what I saw. He was shamelessly himself. Yeah. And that's, that's so, true. It's so important to keep calm and be yourself. Right, but what Chuck if yourself bass. is, like, a whore- bass? See what I mean? B- bass. Base pro shop. Base pro shop. Damn. Chuck base pro shop. But yeah, I did love the first few seasons of Gossip Girl. Stop a show while it's ahead. You can't. You, you can't. You have to try. You have to drag it out. Glee should have ended after three seasons. 
Ooh. When do we stop being CMA? <laughs> oh, that's a good question. We should stop while we're ahead. Maybe maybe on our 30th. Maybe the leap year episode. Guys, this is our <laughs> final app. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Do you have any more things before we dive into this? Yeah. Okay. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's one more thing. Uh, did you ever watch HGTV? Yeah. I watched um, House Hunters. Okay. Yeah. Um, two, quick, quick thing. Does it exist still? Yes. Can the you channel? access it? Yeah. Yeah. It's like On the what? channel TV. On like TV.com? Cable, cable channels, YouTube oh, TV. Oh, I don't guess. Is not. it on any streaming services? If you have like the YouTube TV. I have YouTube TV. So yeah, you can. Put There's it. something so calming about having an HGTV show that you're not even watching, just like playing in the background. I have been really struggling with shows to nap to because I'm always like, I don't want to sleep because I need to see what's going on. That it's like, take me to take me to unconsciousness. You're getting a new backsplash? Don't mind if I pass out. Yeah. Let me know when it's over. Tap me when it's over, Ty. Yeah, that's good. Pennington. That's good noise to have in the back. I was thinking Ty Pennington's about- no longer doing HGTV, right? He was Extreme Home Makeover. Yeah. And that show, I assume... I think he's also doing a hosting gig on a house show now, too. I don't know oh. if HGTV, but... I, I bet he, he put himself so far into a pigeonhole. Like, how would Ty ever recover from right. that? I'm doing a house giveaway. I watched an episode of Extreme Home Makeover recently, and it did not age well. No. Well, the thing is, you're talking about a family that was hit with a tragedy, and then you give them a home, and then they have to pay property taxes on a gigantic home? It was, like, very white savory. The whole show was yeah. that. Yeah. It's like, move that bus. Okay. Get in there. And nothing like, nothing has function it's like oh you're what did I, I think i said this on the podcast oh your son has you know seen a car one time we made his whole room nascar themed he's 11 next year next year he's gonna hate right, nascar right but you will not be able to afford and he's gonna lose his virginity in in that <laughs> cars themed room he's gonna bring a girl and, home and he's gonna be like i'm sorry i don't know what to say yeah tie penny blame tie <laughs> The right girl will love that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. And, and I guess this man is going to walk across the right a, girl is going to love a bridge. her virginity in that uh, ship that requires a netted bridge to get to. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Imagine being like, right this way. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to your watch your step. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I love it. Um, I really but, do. <clears throat> I was thinking about that, and then I, I remembered there was a time when every single time they would be like, "We are giving away a house. You're gonna text this number." They had that that commercial where it was like, "HGTV is straight up giving away a house on the shores of Lake Michigan, and it's got this, and it's got right. this, and it's gigantic." Simply text this number, and I'm like, every single time I text that number, I was like, "I'm about to. My life's about to change." Uh-huh. Every single time. I wonder if, one, I wonder if they ever gave away a house. Two, this is what we needed TikTok for. Could you imagine Ty Pennington giving away a house and then like keeping up with that family via TikTok? It's very much like uh, the Sprouse Twins to Animals. Yes. Sweepstakes. We won. Let's see who won that. Take me through the experience. Where are they now? Where are they now? I would have loved to see one. I don't think anyone ever won a house. We would never know. Right. It could have just been a scam. Where is my number being sold to because I entered that contest 400 right, times? Right. Once a day. Very good question. Damn. I don't think we've... I think someone... We found someone claiming to have won the sweepstakes. The Danimals won? Yeah. But I don't know if we verified. Okay. I'm also curious. Speaking of Danimals, Danimals were... Are they a, still with us? A yogurt product, correct? Like, yeah. How much yogurt do you think was in a Danimals? Because I don't think there's... When I eat yogurt now, it's like, oh, this tastes like shit, but that's what it's, it's supposed to taste like. Here's it's what I'll good tell for you, you, you know? I that like, was ice cream, right? I hate yogurt. Like, I'm, like, disgusted by the texture and the taste. But you could eat an awesome I, meatball. Yes. Yeah. It's like a smoothie base. I can't do, yo- like... Yogurt. Like a yogurt base. Okay. I could down Danimals. So that just goes to show you that it's not a yogurt base. No, it's not. Because I can't tolerate a yogurt base. It's goo. Did Is you- it still being produced? Because I would like Amazon that think... on the side of my Fruity Pebbles. Yeah. Oh, it's for sale right now. Damn, that's good. That is 
Those I used to take like shots. Yes. Yeah. Like I would I would get a Daniel smoothie cup. Throw that could it back be like, like a I great was chaser or mixer. Cabo. Yeah. Be like, I'm drunk. It's like, oh, that's all the preservatives. Yeah. Those are probably so bad for you. Um Oh crap, what was I gonna say? Go gurts. That's what my mom used to get mm. and put in our lunch. See, those box. were too yogurty for me. It was in a tube. Yeah. We talked about this before because I was saying any food in a tube, that used to be like Y2K is coming. The future is here now. This food is in a tube. Mm-hmm. It's so weird how that just like stopped being a thing. Like why? It was don't it wasn't broken. Don't fix don't it. Don't fix what's not broken. What? Food in a tube? Food in a tube wasn't broken. Oh my god, I miss grips. Yeah, we oh my god, you saying have grips. We, we about have grips? had this conversation before. We're verbatim. History repeats itself. That's why you have to learn it. Are they still making those? And we also yeah, Izzy ended up buying grips, right? Mm -hmm. Didn't you order There's some no grips? There's no way. Yes. I don't remember that. Yes, she brought them out to us on set. No, she didn't. Yes, did, she did you, Izzy? I didn't bring them out. Um, I we had them, them in the studio. She tried. No, we did not. I looked them up, though. Oh, my gosh. You looked them up. You're constructing a memory. Okay. You can't trust yourself. That's scary. No. Oh. What? You can't. No, you can't. At all. No, I'm saying that as a broad statement, not just <clears> you. <throat> Wait. Also, there's these really, this is more of a niche food. Kissables. They were these Not like familiar. M and M looking Hershey Kisses. Wait, yeah, I'm familiar. Bring them back to me. Ooh, yeah, that's brilliant. Like, why stop making those? Who were, just baby Hershey Kisses. Who were those hurting? But with an M and M type coating. coating. Right. Yeah, those didn't hurt anyone. That would be my movie theater snack if they still had them, if possible. Hershey's fans beg for discontinued candy to be brought back as it reminds them of better and dot, dot, dot. <laughs> I, I'm one of those Better Hershey's and fans. happier days. Yes. Oh, rip. Bring them back. Like, I promise you, Hershey's, if you're listening to this, you will profit millions if you bring those back. Did you know, and you didn't because I've never said it out loud, my grandpa used to date, like, the founder of Hershey's daughter. No, I didn't know that. And then he moved forward with my this grandma. This is the grandpa that... Which is why I don't have an inheritance. May he rest, but really? This is the grandpa that's scary. Yeah, he's no longer with us. Well, I know. But he was scary. He was scary? Yeah. Yeah. What did he do again? I don't know. You told a scary story. Oh, I don't know if I should tell that on here. You already did. No, I told... I don't know. I don't think what I did. What did you tell on here? Well, my grandma used to work for... Child Protection Services. Yeah, she told that. And No, but there was something else. Did he have one hand? No, I told him the bonus. I guess I could tell him the main because it's like kind of entertaining. Okay. Um, my grandma used to <laughs> work for child protective. They were in love, clearly, and you'll you'll know why soon. Mm -hmm. Um he, she used to work for child protection services, and I guess like some of the parents would get angry and try to kill her. I don't know if it ever happened, but he put duct tape through the house being like, she's well, over been, here you, in this room. You would they know if your grandmother got killed by someone. I know, but she, I don't know if they ever came into the, oh. like, I don't know if they ever did. They must have because he put duct tape arrows to her room because they didn't sleep in the same room so that they wouldn't get confused and take him out, take him down too. That's sweet. He said, you can go down. I'm not. And I told you about his finger that he used to put into my armpit. Oh, that's okay. That's why I thought he had one hand. No, just one nub of a <laughs> finger and he yeah. would. Wiggle it the around. The finger was cut off. It was a halfy. Yeah. 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 Okay. It was a that's, half what, of a that's what I was thinking. It looked of. like a Vienna sausage. A Vienna sausage? Have you seen that woman on TikTok? You would be addicted to her. She loves Vienna Leah? sausages. Yeah. You've seen her? Yes. Okay. Familiar. That's like what my FYP is like. My FYP is pe like people like that that like aren't going to get famous, but they're, they have a lot of engagement type people that like, I, my thing is I eat Vienna sausages. Like, and I'm like, oh, I'm addicted to this I haven't even woman. seen her eat a Vienna sausage. <sighs> That's just what she reminds me of for whatever reason. Oh, but, um, she's Italian? Yeah. But then it's all, it's that skinwalkers, which like, I don't know if anyone knows what skinwalkers are. Not familiar are. with that. It's like things that live in the woods and then take on forms of like deer or like, I don't, they're not real. I don't. Oh, are they like fairies? I don't want to say that. And then, no, they're very scary. But like that kid that went missing in the woods for like three days, remember? They're mythical creatures. They're demons of like the Navajo culture that like typically live in the woods oh, and like mimic 
mimic people to like lure you in the woods and like, I guess, kill you and probably devour you. They're scary looking. Oh, I don't. I'm on this TikTok. Yeah. And then Love that. coupled with that. <gasps> uh uh-uh. I mean, that's, that's not spooky. Re- you should. I mean, I hope you I'll send you one. You don't skinwalker need to video. because I'm going to get too. No, no, no. People are like, look at this skinwalker that's taken the form of a deer and it's a deer walking through the woods. <laughs> Uh, okay well no yeah and then the other part of tiktok that i'm on right now is parrots that like w- are rehomed from like a troubled home mm-hmm. and the parrot is like hey you stupid bitch get over here <laughs> fuck you and it's like in a really loving That's like good. older person at home now and they're like stop no cussing and it's like fuck you go to bed <laughs> and it's like obviously repeating an art but there is one parrot that keeps reciting this thing it was an argument of the house that it was uh rehomed from that the woman was shot and killed oh, he and cracked the case. he keeps repeat yeah he keeps repeating the last argument and it is the argument between and he had all the evidence needed to close wow, that trial there was a parrot at every murder scene we bring like they have police the FBI dogs should just like release so many parrots into the world so just in case something horrible happens the parrot can be on the case yeah the FBI should like there's a talking animal we're not talking enough about that oh I'm always talking about parrots and ravens and crows I can't ravens stop. and crows don't talk the way parrots they do. do and it's fucking scary they speak words nevermore you should listen to this t- type in crow saying nevermore this sounds like in the hunger games when the mocking jays uh-huh. are like recorded voices and right? things that's what a crow sounds like listen to this No. Yeah. That's that's AI. Waka 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 waka. Waka Can he say anything else besides waka waka nevermore? <laughs> well, this one is kind of waka waka more. Keep coming nevermore. Right. But is he in the home? He's coming in. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't. Yeah, but I agree. Like we should be employing these birds because. They're talking, so that makes you, you need to pay rent yeah. now. But, um, what was I going to say? Oh, I mean, if we released a bunch, that would be that whole thing with like the birds aren't real movement where it's like birds are government spies, which we don't have to get into today. Maybe they should be. Government Am I being, spies? Is that too political? No, it's not too political. I think it depends on who we're sending them out to spy well, on. Well, just, I don't know what I'm talking about, so that absolves me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, Lumi. January has come and gone, but it's not too late to start your New Year's resolution. And no, I'm not talking about getting tangled in an elliptical or eating the world's most depressing salads. Here's one that's going to stick. Smelling better naked. Mm -hmm. Thanks to our sponsor, Lumi, you can smell good without or with clothes all year long. Lumi is a game-changing whole body deodorant designed by an OBGYN to work not only on pits, but also feet privates, and everywhere else we get odor. No matter where you use it, Lumi is clinically proven to block odor all day long, all thanks to its one-of-a-kind pH-optimized formula. And they've got over 275,000 five-star reviews to show for it. Make the switch to Lumi, and this year will be all about head-to-toe confidence. No salads required. As a whole-body deodorant, Lumi is seriously safe to use anywhere on your body. Let me rattle off some, some ideas just off the top of my head of places where you can use it. We're talking pits. We're talking under boobs. We're talking thigh folds, belly buttons, butt cracks, vulvas, and feet. Check, 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 check. I've been using Lumi before my workouts, and let me tell you, it keeps me feeling fresh throughout the day. I was really surprised just how versatile Lumi really is. Lumi is clinically proven to block odor all day and control odor for up to 72 hours. How? Unlike certain traditional deodorants that try to mask odor with the fragrance, Lumi is formulated and powered by mandelic acid to stop odor before it starts. More like a pre-odorant. It's also baking soda-free and paraben-free and pH balanced for safe use below the belt. Lumi's starter pack is perfect for new customers. It comes with a solid stick deodorant, cream tube deodorant, two free products of your choice like mini body wash and deodorant wipes, as well as free shipping. 
As a special offer for new listeners, new customers get $5 off a Lumi starter pack with code BNC at lumideodorant.com. That equates to over 40% of your starter pack when you visit lumideodorant.com and use code BNC. Oh my God, do you hear my stomach? Yeah, that was your stomach? Yes. I thought that was your Kelly Clarkson collection. No, on God, that was my stomach piece. Wow. Yeah. Okay, um, should we get into the meat of the episode? We should. Wow, that was fun though. That, I actually I, had a blast today. Me too, today. Connor. And that was like so evergreen too. What's crazy is like that was an accident. Like on a normal episode that isn't coming out on leap year, like we would not have been able to do that. No. Oh God, that's no. great. Well, yeah. we asked you guys if you had any questions for us. Yeah. And you actually had some great ones, which I'm really excited about. So let's get into it, shall yeah, we? Yeah, we should. You want me to ask you one first? Why don't you hit me first? Okay, I'll hit you. Oh my God, this one like threw me for a loop. Okay. You have a baby that was switched to birth and two years later they show up. Do you switch back? What, two years? Yeah. Yeah, like, see ya. No. You're yeah. Kidding. Oh, I need my blood. I'd be like, whoa, ew. You, but you're like in love and addicted to your to the one that you've raised I'll forget for two years. immediately. You I'll, think? I'll forget as soon as that two-year-old forgets as well. Yeah. I don't think you will. If you were in the situation, think about Max. Like you're giving up Max after two years. But no, because he was already a year old and I. It doesn't matter how old he was when you got him. You have two years with Max. And then. That's not the same because I'm not blood related to him. To the if, other if one. My, if yeah. my blood, like you're thinking of blood there. It's like, that's your lineage. I know you have to kind of like remove. Like that's your lineage, you know. But. The one that's not my lineage is my child. Because you know him better? Yeah, because that's my child that I raised, who I spent two years thinking was my lineage. Well, like, we spend in America more time with our coworkers than our family, but, like, that doesn't make them more our family. Well, I'm spending every second of the day with my baby because it's a baby. I'm switching back. I am, like, really struggling. Yeah. I think... Oh, that's horrible. Well, do you like your bloodline? Because some, like you, if I didn't like, if it was an annoying baby, that would be like a no brainer. That would be a no brainer. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, that would suck. Like if that... my bloodline was like fugly, I'd be like, yeah, that's not <laughs> what. No, we already. We... It is really tough. I think one, it depends, like obviously how attached you are to the baby. Two, I feel like maybe in the situation where I was attached to the baby, which I'm imagining is the situation. I would do like a slow roll slow out. Roll out. Like four days out of the week with one baby, three with the okay, other. Okay, well then cha change and then the context. Like they don't I'm live sweating. in the state. Oh shit. Yeah. They're like visiting to come pick up their baby. Maybe like ideally I would like the mother of my baby would be like a really great woman and we'd move in together for a bit and raise the two children together so they could each get used to us. They live out of the state. They're coming to pick up their baby. No, we are. But we got an Airbnb in the middle. <laughs> oh, so you're willing to. Well, what if they're like, you have to. I work from home. Okay. So And so does the mom. Okay. Mom. So what we if, work from home. What if this mom was like, I, I work from home. My husband doesn't. I need to be in my family home. But we live in Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. You have to come to us and you can we can get an Airbnb, but you have to come to us. Can my husband come? He or does he not work from home? <laughs> Yeah, he can come, sure. But you're picking up and moving. For, I mean, well, for a little bit. We don't need to move permanently. Okay. Yeah, I'd move for a little bit to get everything situated. Cool. Yeah. That's that's my answer. Okay, that's a good question. Okay, I agree. I'm not it's swapping a thinker. still. I'll swap, but it will be a process. And I'd like to stay in touch, of course, with my other kid, mm -hmm. who's not my kid. Right. That's tough. Oof. Freaky Friday. <clears throat> All right. Whose pet would win in a fight? Frankie or Max? That's a stupid question. But they have a gun. <laughs> Honestly, I could see Frankie because her teeth are so long and she chews on everything. So I think she could pull the trigger. Yeah. Faster than Max. Well, I don't know if you saw Max almost pushed that button that I got yesterday. I got him one of those dog talking buttons. It's for me actually, but like, I was like, oh, I wonder if I put this on the ground if he 
We'll do it. What is a talking button? Where you push in and it says something. Mine says nut. Oh. Because sometimes when I'm going to be eating food now, I'm going to like take a video and move over and press nut. That's good content. Yeah. And I, I, I got food last night and I like accidentally hit the button and he was obviously trying to get my food and it hit the button and goes nut and he looked at it. Like stared you at it. You should put it on the floor for him to play with. Did you not see the video? I sent it to you. No, you didn't. I texted it to you. No, you didn't. In the group text that we're all in. Who are we all in? I'll show it to you. You did not send it to me. I would know. I'm very observant of I my did. text messages. I sent it to you. Here, look. Watch. <gasps> he almost does it. I'll show you. You were such a proud papa on that. <laughs> he like almost does it. He wants to, but then he, he had he an wants itch to. on his neck and then he wouldn't he come back. He wants to. <laughs> I think Frankie is also very determined, whereas Max gets distracted. Distracted. He could chew on the same thing for hours. I think Frankie would win in a fight. Yeah. With a gun. Francine with a might win. Um, all right, hit me. Hit me okay, again. let me hit you one second. Oh, I think we answered that one before. I ha I have one right now. That's just like a layup. Okay, give me it. a layup. Someone said, I'm new here. Are y'all like childhood friends or what? We could give like a quick intro if there's like more people. Oh, yes. Yes. In we, a way. We were actually separated at birth and our parents gave us back to the respective families. And that is why we are the way that we are right mm -hmm. now. Fuck so up. if that happens to you, make sure that you take good care of the situation. Make sure you move to Wisconsin and get yeah. an Airbnb. Yeah. With the, your with your baby mama, mm -hmm. daddy. I don't know what the, what you would call that. We met online. We met online on TikTok. And then we decided to move in together and then move out of each other's <laughs> of, of, of each other. other's lives. And then and That's it. And now we have a podcast. Oh, here's a sweet question. Your fave memory of each other. Oh. I I know mine. Okay, go ahead. I have I have mine. Or one too. of my favorite. I have mine. I when we were at um Alex D's TV premiere and you were the one who was like oh. nervous. I had so much fun like being there with you and kind of walking you through that experience and seeing you in that way and me being the one that's like, good job, Connor. Yeah. We went to... And, and we also just had so much fun. That was a blast. Yeah. We went to uh, Alexander Daddario's which, What is it? Witches of Waverly mm -hmm. Place. Mm -hmm. um, I forget what the, what the thing was. Witches of... Yes. Mayfair Witches. Mayfair, Mayfair Witches. Witches. It was actually right. really good. It was so good. It's on the CW, right? AMC, I think. AMC. Um, and I was like panicking and Brooke is usually that person. Um, and so she walked me through that experience because she's a seasoned vet. I'm a seasoned vet. I do so well when other people are nervous. I do too. Yeah. When there's like a legit emergency happening, I'm like, guys, let's have a clear head here. We're going to do this. Mm -hmm. We're going to do this. We need. I need you doing that. I need yeah. you doing that. When there's a tiny little thing that happens, I'm like, End I'm going to fucking world. kill myself. Yeah, completely yeah. agree. I feel that way with tasks. Oh, like I have uh, to go to the bank over my no, dead body. No way. I have to move across the country. All right. Whoa. Oh my gosh. That's one disorder that we have together. Yeah, that's so true. I think that's, I think that's ADHD. Is it? ADHD makes you like, you have a task and you're like, it is the entire weight of the world and I can't do that. So I'm going to start a different thing to make me feel better and then I'll do that later, but it, the whole time you're doing a different task, you're just thinking like, oh, I need to go to the bank. I need to go to the bank. And, and it makes you want to cry. My psychiatrist says, refers to that feeling as like overwhelm. She just calls it yeah. overwhelm. Like as if it's like its own disorder, which is interesting. I think overwhelm happens when you don't do the task because you keep, yeah. yeah. What do I know? I'm not a professional. Um, my favorite memory of you. I'm scared. Is when we were at the beach, I think the first time we met and um, I, our buddy Kevin was oh. teaching Brooke how to body surf mm -hmm. in the waves. And sure. he had her feet and was pushing her into a wave that was coming. And kind of get to, instead of her paddling, he was like, I'm going to like launch you into this wave and the waves motion will take you the rest of the way to the beach. 
but for whatever reason, like Brooke got angled towards the sand Mm -hmm. bottom and he was pushing her, but I could, I went underwater and I could see her face just dragging in the sand as the wave toppled her. And then it took her legs over top of her and she was in the laundry machine cycle. Mm -hmm. And, but like, just like getting clobbered. That was the funniest thing ever. I was could not catch my breath. I was laughing so also, hard. Also, my bathing suit completely and fell off. And then she off. came up and she was naked. <laughs> <laughs> and that was my first time meeting Connor. So that was great. That was, that was so fun. I want to go man. back to that beach. Me too. Take me to those waves. That's a, yeah. It's a good thing. Those were massive waves. By the way. That wasn't my fault. It is hot enough now to go to the beach. This weekend I was like, oh. oh I was at the beach this weekend. I can't believe it's already summer, January 27th. Well, this weekend it was like a crazy like 80 degree weekend. It was that it, happens every January. There's like one weekend of 80 degrees. Well, it never got cold, cold. Yeah, that's true. Because <laughs> I bet it goes back and is like freezing for like two months, honestly. But are you tearing my my stomach? Yeah, that's crazy. Do you want my banana? No, it's okay. I want you to have your banana. Okay. Um, <laughs> I what what's a tease though? And I don't get the angle of the sun or anything, so don't come at my jugs, but. I don't get how like it can feel hot and I can feel the sun and I'm feel like I'm burning, but mm-hmm. the UV is too. What a fucking joke. Yeah. I did get a little bit color of color this weekend, which was nice. I got a little bit color. I got color. I have purse. Hey guys, we want to take a break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, Skims. I want to tell you guys about this underwear I'm obsessed with. Hey, all you people. <laughs> hey, all you people. <laughs> I just can't keep it to myself. It's too good. It's the Fits Everybody collection by Skims, and I feel like it's their best kept secret. Mm -hmm. Uh, After my many trials and tribulations of receiving my Skims package, I finally freaking got it. Oh my God, was I missing out. Mm -hmm. So it was was hard for me being over here, like hearing about the buttery soft, like material, and like the stretch and everything. I understand. I mean, once in a lifetime material. It's also like, again, I don't always wear underwear, but like I, I prefer to wear these because it like feels better than any other underwear as well as like not wearing yeah, underwear. Yeah, totally. Which is special. The feeling is like no other underwear I've worn before. It's so stretchy and soft. It kind of just melts onto your body and you forget that you're it wearing does. it. And once me and a friend got into the underwear together oh, and it stretched and then once we both got out of it, it went back to its original size. Yeah, just as an experiment. Wow. Yeah, I love it and think everyone should experience this level of comfort. Some of my favorite pieces from the collection are the triangle bralette and the boy short. These pieces have become such a staple in my wardrobe because they are just so comfortable. The Fits Everybody collection is available in sizes XXS to 4X, and you can shop now at skims.com. Plus, get free shipping on orders over $75. After you place your order, be sure to let them know who sent you. Select podcast in the survey, and be sure to select our show in the drop-down menu that follows. Believe the hype. Skims has over 100,000 five-star reviews for a reason. The Fits Everybody collection and more perfect fit essentials are available now at skims.com. Plus, get free shipping on orders over $75. After you place your order, be sure to let them know we sent you. Select podcast in the survey and be sure to select our show in the drop-down menu that follows. Um, okay, I got it. Oh, wait. Mm, okay, I'll hold on to that one in case we need it. Oh my god, these are so good. Oh, this was just a quick one that I want to address for me. Mm-hmm. Said Brooke on Insanely Chill, you said you wanted to go on a date before 2024. Did that happen? You must have misheard me. I said 2025. <laughs> so that will happen in the coming year. Cool. Yay, so excited. Can't wait. Yay. Fuck, Mary, kill, live, laugh, love. Kill live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mary laugh. Uh, no. Fucking, you're fucking love. No, I'll fuck laugh, Mary love. And yourself? I'm marrying live. <laughs> um, Why? Because I'd like, I would like to continue living al- alongside mm-hmm. live. Um, I'm fucking laugh and I'm killing love. Damn. Yeah. That's my Valentine's Day mood. Happy V Day. Um, for Brooke, if you could compare Connor to a character in Akatar, who would it be? Ooh. 
it's tough because like they're like 500 years old and like have a certain level of like 500 year oldness that you're lacking like a turtle like no a like very like wise is not the right word because you are wise i don't think so but like wise but gun to your head gun to my head hmm. right gun to my head mm -hmm. maybe cassian cool. he's, very cool he's the general the illyrian army I've always wanted you to knew be that. a general in yeah. the army. So you would have wings in this instance. Right. Yeah. A man with wings. Because he's like fun. He's a, he's, a, he's a fun guy. Like if I could have, if I could go out with anyone, it would be him. Go out like for a night on the town. Oh, So fun. you're giving Cassian in that Very way. cool. Yeah. Um, would you have sex with your clone? No. That goes back to the thing where it's like, w w do you find... Do you find yourself attractive? Uh huh. Uh, but more for like an experiment. Would I fuck my clone? Yeah. Um. You could see what it's like. No, that's like uncanny. Uh, no, no, uncanny valley. Like, I would, but like not you, in a sexual way. What? How would? How would? Science, like more of like a science way. So you would scissor her in a sec in a non-sexual yes. way exactly okay yeah so i guess not really like the go-to oh right can we delete that? <laughs> like <laughs> no keep it in um but yeah i would for sure have sex with myself out of curiosity okay if you're gonna do it i'm gonna yeah. do it but like, Do it. like I wouldn't go I wouldn't go into that dark night alone. I would want to be like, Brooke, would, let's let's go to this thing. Yeah. You're my plus one to go meet our clone. Yes. And then 100%. we would we would be like, all right. In well, the same room? No, no, no. Like I'm gonna go do it. Yeah. And then you go do it. Yeah. And then we'll like meet out afterwards and yeah. then like say bye to our clones and like Completely. debrief in the car on the right. way. Right. It's not like a sexual thing. It's more of like a research and then debrief. Re it's an R and D thing, research yeah. and development. Yeah, totally. Um. Okay. Yeah. So that's that's something I would do. Okay, we're having sex with our clones. Oh I think God. that that is something to look forward it to. It always is. Okay, Connor, it's your turn to ask me something. Actually, I'm kind of. I mean, I kind of got a lot of like podcast. Oh, okay. Ones. That's fine. We never talked about this. Like, do pot? Do, do fans of the podcast have a name? Like, believers, gleeks, and Swifties. I feel like it's just like listeners, BNC -ers, BNC, no, we, ma BNC mappers. We said mappers like originally, but no, then, then love that. that's like, oh, are you a cartologist? Do you make maps? Right. Are you obsessed with navigation? What do they want to be called? What do you want oh, to be sure, called? Oh, sure, good question. Oh, sound off in the comments. Sound off. I don't know. I've, I've just been calling them like B and Cers, or like listeners. B and C is very much giving like element of P, like one word, one oh, letter. Element you consider element of P. One I word. thought it was a letter. One element letter. Element of P. I thought it was one letter when I was younger. Uh, so B and C is giving one letter. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. So B, but that's. B and C it B and Sears. That's a mouthful. It's not when you master it. Like oh, I have. I should ma I should consider mastering it. Consider mastering it. Okay, cool. How often do you guys text outside of filming the pod? Every day. Yeah. Yeah. I would say constant. If it's not texting, it's like DMing yeah. on, on other platforms. But I would say we're in constant communication. Yeah. It's totally. Healthy. Yeah. <laughs> um, what five things would you put in a rocket going to an alien planet? Ooh, what's like the purpose though? Like I want to show them neat things. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I'll just send them objects that I'm obsessed with right now. I'd send them a jelly cat. A jelly cat? Oh, Connor, you would adore the jelly cats. I you I want you to take me to I the jelly cat. I know what a jelly cat is. <laughs> I would send them a jelly cat. Did you know there's a guinea pig jelly cat coming out? 
I could have guessed. Gordy. They're so pretty. Jelly cat. Yeah. So I'd send them a jelly cat. I would send them a guitar. They can't read English. The best way to learn a new language is to read a book of it. Immersive. Yeah. Um, what else am I obsessed with right now? Maybe sushi. They would love it. Yeah. Yeah. I would send them specifically the Toro Nigiri from Sushi Fumi. They would love that. Oh my gosh. Yum. And, um, uh, 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 what else do I like? I'd send them a hydro. I was going to say hydro. A hydro flask. And last but not least, I would send them, last but not least, I'm completely, I've, it's like I've never seen an object before. Maybe a binky? Oh yeah, I'd like to see what, what that does to them if they have the same tolerance. And I'd send them my binky. Good one, Connor. How about you? I didn't even think about it. Probably grilled cheese. Because mm -hmm. like no one can say an ill word about uh -huh. GC. Um, I would send them up my phone. Opened up to Instagram. Yeah. Just so they could scroll endlessly. I yeah. think that would be fun for them to experience. Some Molly. Like the drug. Uh huh. Just like. Because. I don't know. Um, and then. If I could send something like alive, I would send like an earthworm. Mm. Because I feel like that they would be like, oh. Hello. Yeah. And then. Oh, do you think on other planets, like I always thought of it just being one species, like one alien. But like, do you think they have like creatures of their own? Yeah. Like inchworms? Yeah, for sure. Oh, cool. Um, And then maybe some uh candy. Oh, to go with a grilled candy. cheese because I always want something sweet after I have a grilled cheese. It's so savory. I want a grilled cheese right now. Me too. Um, oh my Kissables. God. You know what I would do? What? You know what I would do? Tell me. I would send them sour gummy worms because I would be like, "Look, we have this worm that's alive, and we're so fun oh. that like and like advance it. Like we can actually eat." Something like that we're like, oh, this is like so goofy. So you're doing like a worm themed care package. Yeah. And you know that I'm not even like the biggest worm fan, but I'm thinking like something that could like, like I think a worm would like just like be chill with going into space. Right. And then like, it's not gonna, it's not like a puppy or something, you know, I'm not like sending a worm out, but also like the worm gummy worms. It's just like funny. It's like, oh, that's alive. And then I eat this one. Yeah. But like, I wouldn't eat how, that one. How are you, how are they going to know? They'll probably eat both or I'll, eat both there's like, as a pet. I'll, I'll have a little diagram on that's like, put this in your mouth. Okay. But I'll have that on the molly too. Yeah. Did you hear that, Izzy? Is that why you're laughing? What? Oh, sorry. I thought you were in my stomach. <laughs> it's loud. I thought that there was a thunderstorm rolling in. It's so crazy. It is so crazy. I love it though. Okay. That's good. That's a good question. Hmm. No, sorry. That wasn't a question. Oh. <laughs> That was a statement, <laughs> but yes. I understand how that was confusing. Okay. I know you've never claimed to be a relationship podcast, but any heartbreak advice to this day, the person who gave me the best advice was Connor. <laughs> what did I say? Cause I was sobbing about someone and then you were like, if it helps, you're going to be sobbing about someone else in two months. Yeah. And, oh it, my God. and that really like snapped me out of it right away. Like, even though it doesn't feel like it now, there will be a time where you're not thinking about this person. And you know who 100% the best... facts on God, without a doubt, there will be a time you're not thinking about this person. Just have that to look forward to. The best example, and I think you could, whoever that is, could learn a lot from Jerry, the golden, the golden badge. Mm -hmm. He absolutely, like, sobbed in the opening episode. Did you watch it? Yeah, I did. He sobs about his, his wife, who has passed, and then is like, but I am so excited to meet the woman of my dreams tonight and he's like yeah. wow if you can be open like that at 70 years old jerry what are we who are we to not mm -hmm. like he had a full life with somebody heartbreak yeah because that's devastating because his wife was taken from him but he's like I'm, i have an open mind i deserve to be happy again you deserve to be happy again it's not that crazy that there's someone else you know there's so many people out there 
Yeah. And even if there's not, there will be a time where you're not thinking about this person. It's okay that it's not now. Be sad. But just know that that day will come. Yeah. And there's no, it's almost embarrassing when you're sad about something that like everyone since the dawn of time has gone through. It's like you didn't reinvent the wheel. You're here's, here's something. It's not special. It's going to go away and then it's going to happen. It might happen again. Hmm. Move on. That's helpful. I have one. Should the elderly people who are close to death, let's say like 80 plus, be allowed to vote? Why would they ask us this? I'm saying no. That's tough. I think yeah. I think if there's a minimum age for voting, there should be a maximum oh. age for voting. If there's a minimum age to go into office, there should be a maximum age to go into office. I think if there is an age that you retire, 65, at any other job, for example, pilot, like my dad is like of age to like not being fl- be flying a plane. He should not be president, you know? Yeah, but um, voting, I think anyone, I think old people can vote. I think there needs to be a tap out age if there's a tap in age because your brain starts to undevelop. Like or it here's what developed. I think maybe, I do think maybe old people should get um, tested for their driver's license again. And maybe yeah. if they pass that test, then they can vote. And if they don't, it might be time to, to throw in the towel. That's a great <laughs> example because... That's ageist of me. N- no, I think if, if you're not of sound mind and body, you shouldn't be voting on s- well, I guess something. Is driving... Driving is a, a mind game too. 100%. Yeah. You can't drive drunk. Do you ever like... I do this all the time. I'll be in the middle of driving down the street and I'll be like, holy shit, I don't know how to drive. I completely just forgot how to drive. Yeah. That's something where like, if you think about it too much, it's like, wait, what? Like I'm operating a massive piece of machinery. Don't know how to do it. I wish that's, that's the time I wish I lived in New York. I'm like, well, I should not be doing this every yeah. single day. Yeah. Okay. We can end on, this is our favorite question. Mm. If each finger on one hand could dispense beverages, which five would you pick? That is like such a brilliant question. Like kiss your brain. Mine's like really easy. Do it. Okay. Coffee. Yeah. Sparkling water. Uh Uh-huh. Beer. Like a light beer, like a Coors Light. Uh, Tequila. Yeah. Yeah. For like like when I need to expedite things. Yeah. Yeah. And then, oh, the fifth one I haven't I haven't gotten there. Oh, water. You already did sparkling water. That's that. You want both? That doesn't hydrate me. Sparkling oh, water doesn't you hydrate just like me. the bubbles. I don't, and I don't really need anything with flavor on my docket. Okay. I'm doing r- still water. You know, bubbles. I don't like bubbles. I know. I love to burn. Unless it's alcohol, then it's just like I don't like the taste anyway. Might as well do bubbles. Okay. Water. Okay. Coffee. Coffee. You know what I never talk about, but I love so much? If you say boba tea, I'm going to walk off this set. Oh, yeah, apple juice. I love apple juice. Well, that that falls under applesauce, which we're very outspoken applesauce fans. Yeah. Thank you, Mots. (laughs) Ooh. I guess my my spearmint tea. Hmm. Maybe hot chocolate? Well, for those long nights. Yeah. I'm not doing any alcohol right now. Oh, you're going to regret yeah. that later. Well, can't you give me some of yours? What if I'm not there with you? What if I had to someone move to Wisconsin else's, with someone my Someone else's mama? finger will do. Will give me Oh, a my shot. gosh. You're going to be milking someone else's finger. Yeah, I that's see. kind of like, I don't have a vape, but you could yeah. <laughs> milk someone else's vape. Yeah. That kind of Can thing. I hit your finger? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that. mine died. Yeah. Um, I'm all out. <laughs> Uh, oh my gosh, I had one more that I wanted to end okay. with because I remembered it, but okay. now I just don't. Do you want to try to remember it or you just want to move on? Let me see if I can push. Push it out. No. It's all right, you tried. I don't have it. Maybe in the bonus it'll come back. Oh, that's a bummer, but yeah. Yeah. Well, it wouldn't be a bummer if you guys all came and joined us in the bonus. So true. TMGstudios.tv, Brick and Connor tier. It's still there. And also, where are we on YouTube, subs? I believe we hit 60. 60? Oh, that's, that's a pretty number. Well, at the time, currently. Oh, did we lose some? No. Oh. We are at, hold please. Come on. 54. Okay, uh, 54. Guys. This comes out in a month. 
So, yeah. Come on. By the time this comes out, we're going to have 60 manifestations. I really want 100, though. I know, but you have to start with 60 before you get to 100. I think Obsessed has 10 as well. So yeah. Oh. Uh, go subscribe to Obsessed. Oh, go subscribe to Obsessed. Do both. Oh, yeah. 20,000. What? You have 20,000 subs That's on Obsessed. That's nice. At this current moment. Wow. Yeah. That's humongous. Um, so go subscribe to both if you haven't already. That means the world to us. Sure, it does. It helps us live. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's our livelihood. So that would be great. Yeah. Um, what should I leave you guys with today? I'm gonna talk in a, in at length about T Pain in next week's episode. Well, two weeks ago's episode. So, um, go check out T Pain's covers uh-huh. on YouTube so you can be. Oh my gosh. No, never mind. Love you, T Pain. See you guys in the bonus. It doesn't matter if I talk about smooches. After. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, so, such a mind bl- mind suck. My fuck. Yay. Okay. Bye, guys. See you guys. This week on Close Friends. We have put a man on the moon, but you're gonna have me peel a banana and waste like the last centimeter because I can't eat that little nipple piece. Poopers or amyl nitrate are a liquid drug that can give an instant high when inhaled. And how come they're so popular if they're not safe? I guess cocaine is very popular as well. You wanna fuck Louis Capaldi? 100%. Sign up on tmgstudios.tv to watch the full bonus episode.